man, I put us on the board good. Check that bad boy out right there. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We had some pretty good rains last night that lasted for about an hour or two. Some pretty heavy downfall, but really not enough to raise the water levels in the area. And I knew this one was gonna wash the beaches off pretty good. So I figured we'd come down in here today and see if we couldn't find any artifacts laying out doing a little surface hunting. If you look down here, that's a bunch of uh, glass from a homestead that hasn't been uncovered in a few months as well as it is here there's been one or two spots through here that was mildly uncovered but that's the first time since last year I've seen all this in here so that means that rain washed this whole shore off really well so we're gonna walk up through here we're gonna take our time and hopefully we'll find something good laying out right at the water line so you can see there's a little glass jars, some china up there. There's all kinds of stuff in here. It's a shame it's all broken because a lot of it's good old stuff. I don't know what this is here. Looks like it has to be melted glass. We don't have obsidian around here. Winget of melted glass. There's the bottom to an old bottle. And there's the chunk to an old doorknob. Sometimes you find really good stuff in here. I found one or two nice bottles in this old homestead site. And then when I first started coming in here, there were arrowheads peppered in with this stuff. So I try to take my time when I walk through here because you never know, you might find something good in all the brokes. A couple big pieces of flint in this, but nothing major so far. It's washed off really good though. If we take our time, we're bound to find something. Found a piece that kind of resembles a blade lip, but it doesn't have much use to it, if at all. We'll throw her in the pocket. Right here. Nice little piece of pottery. We'll throw that in the pocket, keep moving. Actually, wait, hold on. We've got another piece out here. Nope, just a rock. We're gonna walk through it real slow because the way this rain washed everything off there should be some stuff laying out right here all right there's everything we found looking through the beach here just a bunch of pottery shards and flint shards we'll throw them in the pocket we'll come back through here in a little bit hopefully some barges will come through and waves will hit this low spot in the river where the rocks are it'll wash it off good we'll find more stuff on the way back all right almost missed it right under this log. Real nice crisscross pattern piece of pottery. I don't know if I'll throw that one in the pocket. It might have to sit on this tree till I come back through. I'm afraid I'm gonna break that piece. It's a little big. All right, just in this little two and a half foot span of rocks, we actually found a lot of stuff laying out. A bunch of pieces of pottery and then one of them busted pieces of quartz. So that's not too bad. This is gonna be a good spot here soon. It gets some good rain on it. We're gonna keep moving. And I found a big, thick piece of pottery there. A lot different than the rest of it we've been finding. A lot of the rest of it's been really thin. We're lucky enough to snag us our very own boat dock. I don't know where that thing came from. It wasn't here last time I was in here, about a week ago. It's pretty cool though. Look at that, that's a pretty piece right there. It's about the best we got for today so far. I haven't found any artifacts. Found some good looking flint, some nice pieces of pottery though. We got a little bit more beach to walk up through here before I turn around and do the return trip back. Here's something cool that you'll see down on the river every now and then. This is an old millstone. And uh, the millstones would be used to like grind flour and corn into meal. You could tell the way that thing's all uneven. It's a discarded one that they'd used all the way. That's pretty cool. 
I've been sifting with a bucket. Haven't found anything quite yet, just pottery and shards. But I think I got the find of the day. I'm almost done. I don't know if I'm gonna find an artifact. Right at the water line, I found a box turtle. Oh, he went to hide. Ooh, he ain't having it. We'll let him back down, let him go. He's probably as thirsty as I am. Coming down here to get a drink of water. All right, I got Douglas and Rose back down here tonight on the little surface hunting. Might do a little sifting, not too sure yet. I don't know how much time we have. We got down here, realized a pretty strong storm. It's about a half hour down river. So we're gonna look as fast as we can in a couple spots and hopefully we'll find an artifact tonight. We kind of goose egged the other day when we were down here. But we're gonna get our eyes to the ground. We'll let you know we find something good. It's nice pottery there. We'll throw it in the pocket. Keep looking right here in these rocks, Rosie, where you found it. You'll find more. All right, I got sift in. Douglas has, is that a rim piece? Hold it up, Douglas. This one? Yeah, no, not what I thought it was. I got a little worked uniface piece. Excuse me. We'll put that in his hand. I don't know, I didn't see anything else. We're gonna try to get one or two more sifts in before we gotta head out of here. This storm's getting close. A lot of pottery. I didn't find too much. I got a bunch of pieces of pottery couple pieces of flint that one might be worked we'll have to look at that one later I'm not too sure it's weirdly shaped but we're gonna have to get out of here soon there's a big storm coming and we don't need to be down here in it so we're gonna head out of here all right there's Bub behind me that storm rolled in last night and uh we didn't find anything other than potter and shards I told them we needed to get back out and correct the goose egg for the weekend so we jumped in the kayaks we're heading down the river right now trying to find us a good spot over here. When we find something, we'll let you know. This is a paddle boat that does tours of the Ohio River coming out of Marietta. Right off the bat, found me one of those light up baubers. I found this pecking stone right here and a couple pieces of flint. Douglas found this big piece. It's not really worked, but Man, that's a huge piece of spalled off flint there. They're probably going to use as some kind of tool. All right, found another little pecking stone there. We're getting ready to get into one of the better spots down through here. I don't know how old it is or if it's worth anything, but we'll take it with us and get a look at it when we get home. Douglas found a neat bottle. Weird looking. That one's going home with us too. I don't know about that. I think it's just a river rock. That bottle's pretty cool though. Well, it ain't the best find in the world, but my goose egg's finally broke. That's the bottom. It's one of those round bottom Dadena blades. I'll show you a picture of it when we get home and do reveals. Man, I wish that thing been whole. I found another one in here before. I'm not sure if it's on the same beach or back where we were a few hundred yards. But we're on the board finally. I did too. Bub said he found a tiny worked piece. He found the side to one. I can't tell on mine. It might just be my eyes. But it looks, it looks worked on that end. What a lot of people call a little thumb scraper. I'm not too sure. We'll look at it when we get home. All right, bring it in here, bud. We got two finds at once. At least I think we do. Both of those got a little pecking stone there. Might be, I'm not too sure. Man, I put us on the board good. Check that bad boy out right there. I didn't see this going up. I bet the waves washed it off. That's a nice board inch right there. I don't think it's missing anything on it. Oh boy. That's a pretty one. Right, I've been taking that piece of mower plastic and swiping water up on the beach. And I found the middle of a point worked on both sides there and then the top and bottoms busted off so that's the third work piece for today I ain't sure how we missed this because I don't think the waves of the boat would have hit it and we haven't hit this short water there's a weird work piece there it had a little oh it's just been a big triangle okay I see it now that's not bad number four 
It's called the Chuck Zebula, I think is what it says on the side. It's a big old barge here. He's running full empty, but coming awful close to the shore right here. All right. Me and Bub are almost back. Got a little treacherous out there between the barges and the wind and the other boats. We finally made it past all that rough stuff though and we're back here on the right side of the river. We'll get everything put up, get all the rocks and stuff cleaned up and then we'll show you what we got. All right, we're up here on vacation. I couldn't do my reveals at home as soon as I got off work that next day. We had to leave for the mountains. We're up here at Ravel's River Resort. Everybody's over there right now playing a little volleyball and enjoying themselves. But that's some finds from another video. You probably already seen that one. And here's finds from this video. This is three different hunts, a couple times at one of our bread and butters, and then a third time near an old Fort Ancient site that we find a a lot of triangles and a lot of antique stuff there in an old homestead. And that's where all this glass stuff come from. I got some kind of thing here that says uh, Hammond Synchronous. I can't really read it. My daughter read it out to me the other day what some of it says. It's got like a model number. I was going to look up what it was. I wasn't too sure. It's really heavy. And we just got a bunch of little stuff from the river. Fishing bait, bobber, a couple of those cosmetic glass jars bunch of flint some really good pieces of pottery including that one that's really nice looking there and a couple of different like orange pieces but we got that over the course of two hunts and we got this stuff out of a Ford Ancient site I think this might be a preform for a Ford Ancient I find a lot of those in my two different Ford Ancient spots I got a piece here I thought might have been worked on, but I'm not so sure. It's this weird, huge bladelet. I imagine they would have used if they didn't lose it. And then these five pieces here. We got these all pretty close to each other. Now this one here is a, got one worked side you can just barely see right there. This one's got two. It's the middle piece to a triangle, I think. This is the bottom of one of those round-bottomed kind of triangular Ford Ancient blades. I found two or three in that spot. And these are just two different types of triangle. This one's just missing the bottom corner. It's one of those kinds of triangles I find in there, too. This is a Coupe de Gras of the day. That's a real good one. Real nice Ford Ancient Point there, almost in perfect condition. We'd actually walked through this spot that this was at, and a barge came through, and a couple other boats, and really washed it off. And when we come back through, that was just laying in the sand right on top. So, it's everything we found this hunt. It's a pretty good hunt. I appreciate everybody watching. Have a good one.